is Phil Thomas of New Era Systems. Today we're looking at an AVL 1.2 meter antenna, vehicle mount antenna. Dan is going to do the honors of showing how the controller operates and how the antenna works. Okay, so this is to show the activation of the RC3000 antenna controller, which works with the AVL 1.2 meter system that we have. Uh, step one of this is this switch right here. It needs to be in the off position. This is a safety switch to remind you to check and be sure that you're not deploying the antenna underneath high voltage wires, a tree, etc. Turn the system on. Again, this switch off. System boots up. It's telling you to deploy the antenna. Also, note scroll up to use save position. And it Okay, as you can see, after the system boots up, it keeps blinking, deploy, interlock must be reset. That does clear once the antenna is deployed. It's a normal function of the antenna. Also notice it says scroll up to use save position. In our case, we've already programmed the longitude and latitude of the antenna, which is the, obviously the local position that we're in. So I scroll up to use that save position. You'll want to set the position to wherever your local position is. So number seven, and you set in, uh, you do this longitude and latitude right here, number one. You set uh, manual, number one. I'm not going to hit it because I'm not going to reprogram it right at this point. But once you hit number one, it comes up with longitude first, 26 degrees, 15 minutes and then you select north or south, and then latitude, 80 degrees, uh, nine minutes, west, east. And it's very self, you know, very self-explanatory. Okay, so from there, I'm hitting mode to go back to the norm, the where it boots up. Um, hit the mode back to, to get back to the home screen, and I'm gonna go ahead and deploy the antenna. I'm going to deploy the antenna by hitting number one. Switch must be on. And the antenna is now deploying. Once it reaches its full deployment, again, this deploy interlock will clear. Okay, so the system is deployed now. Um, do note that if by chance this switch gets bumped off, the antenna will stop moving. Just turn it back on. The antenna will continue moving. From here, it's just like any other antenna where you control it, set your elevation, set your azimuth, spectrum analyzer connected, peak on your satellite. That's about all there is to this system right here. The one thing we do want to point out is that we're shipping this with this piece of waveguide attached. If you detach this piece of waveguide, there's a gear inside that sets the polarization, but the screws for the waveguide actually hold that gear in place. It's fairly easy to reinstall. However, right now, everything is set perfectly where the potentiometer is at zero, everything is accurate. So my suggestion is you attach whatever twist flex you're running to this piece of waveguide. The tenth of a dB of loss or two tenths of a dB of loss aren't worth the hassle. Okay, so now that we've gone through the deployment procedure and the movement of the antenna, Again, movement being, you know, east, west, up, down, nice and simple. Um, we go to the, the next part of this procedure is showing you how to stow it, which is very simple. Hit the mode button. Number two is stow, hit number two. And then just hit the BPSK button right here to continue stowing and everything is automatic. And that's all there is to it. Remember, once completed, you need to turn this switch to the off position so that when you redeploy the antenna, it, again, it's a safety feature. So if you try to redeploy the antenna, it will not 
deploy unless you turn this to on.